So what we're talking about today is probably not say the most, one of the most controversial players in the 1970s, but he uh, got in the bad graces of a lot of Toronto Maple Leaf fans for injuring uh, Daryl Settler severely in the early 70s. We're going to talk a little bit about that later on, but we're going to talk about the legendary career of Gilles Marat. Now, Jean Gilles Marat, born June 7th, 1945 in Montreal, was a Canadian defenseman in the NHL with the Bruins, Blackhawks, Kings, Rangers, and uh, St. Louis Blues. He first came to major prominence in 1962 when he was playing with the very popular Victoriaville Bruins of the QJHL. He eventually graduated to the OHA uh, in the Niagara Falls Flyers for two seasons, which drew a lot of interest uh, from the Bruins. Now, he was a first, all, uh, first team All-Star on the Flyers when he won that 65 Memorial Cup. Now, both of his junior teams were affiliated with the Bruins, and Marat began his NHL career with the Bruins in 1965. Now, in May 1967, he was part of one of the biggest trades in Bruins history, as one of three players sent to Chicago in a deal where Boston acquired Phil Esposito. Now, Marat spent most of his next three years with the Blackhawks, before being traded to the LA Kings in February of 1970. Now, here we get the controversy. Now, while with the Kings in January 71, which was uh, Settler's rookie season, he broke uh, Settler's wrist with a cross check, giving uh, him the most serious injury of his career. Some people believe that uh, Settler's offensive numbers were affected in his first two seasons because of that uh, controversial, uh, uh, not say attack, but controversial penalty. Now, uh, he eventually uh, represented the Kings at the 73 NHL All-Star Game and scored a career-high 45 points that year. Now, the next season, he was sent to the Rangers in a trade where the Kings acquired their future captain and uh, top-flight player, Mike Murphy. Now, Marat played in New York for three years. After the beginning of the 77 season, Marat was claimed on waivers by the St. Louis Blues and spent time in the minors for the only time in his career playing for Kansas City in the CHL. Now, the next season, frustrated by the way St. Louis treated him, Marat jumped to the WHA to join the Cincinnati Stingers. Now, he was traded mid-season to the Indy Racers, and he finished his career there in 78, retiring at the relatively young age of 33. Now, over his 13 seasons as a professional, he appeared in 808 NHL games and 73 WHA games. And like a lot of players from Quebec, another Quebec uh, skater died of cancer. He died of pancreatic cancer in 2005. You're seeing a trend with all the Quebecers. I don't know exactly uh, why, but a lot of NHL players died of cancer of a high prominence. Maybe the rinks at the time, we don't know. That's a, that's a story for another time. Now, awards and achievements. He was a QJHL first All-Star team, 63. He was OHA uh, junior first All-Star team in 65. And also he played in, a, in the 1973 NHL All-Star uh, game. Now, uh, overall, St. Louis, I don't know why the, the, the ran him around that year. He did play a few games for St. Louis in the playoffs, but he also played in the CHL playoffs for Kansas City. So, you know, Marat was a known, uh, known producer. He would average between 30 and 40 points a season, so you knew pretty well what we were getting. Uh, his uh, aggressive play of his early years kind of disappeared later on and uh where he started his career with you know 100 130 minutes and penalties every season by the time uh, the 76 and 77 seven, seven seasons ran around these penalty minutes were way down so by the way playoff totals three goals three assists for six points but what's really significant uh, too as well the niagara falls flyers had a lot of prospects in the system back in the day jim lorenz Derek sanderson uh, Marcotte, the former mayor of Dalhousie, Clem Trombley, who went to senior uh, hockey play uh, on different levels and uh, had a rink named after him. He's been very involved in sports in New Brunswick. They had all kind of talent with the Niagara Falls uh, program. So, I mean, Marat came from a very, very strong Boston feeder system and uh, with Victoriaville as well. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. Bye.